do you want to know some shortcuts to understand if somebody has an afflicted or a bad son or if you have an afflicted son so these are some 10 symptoms you know like uh, diseases have symptoms right so do bad planets okay so what a bad planet is you know it's not that literally that planet is bad and it's doing something up there and making your life miserable no that is not what is the meaning of a bad planet you know bad planet means uh, we have spoiled the traits of the planets by doing things and by making life choices in a way which is contrary to what that planet represents okay so that is the meaning of a bad planet okay so afflicted son bad son bad leadership authority vision nice photo there <laughs> all right so if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation my website is down in the description section god is there with you all the time and you will find him <laughs> if you look to him all right what is the first symptom this is classic this is gold lack of confidence and validation seeking now why does this happen because you don't feel good enough about yourself so then so then what do you do you need external validation from others so when you do that then you get some satisfaction you get some uh, you get a bit high if 10 people praise you and then you also lack confidence uh, now what does it mean you lack con confidence you know many times people are are too much concerned about confidence you know oh he's confident she's confident he's not confident she's not confident i lack confidence he's overconfident she's underconfident whatever there's there's always this thing about confidence but people don't understand something uh, regarding confidence you know so basically uh, people say you know oh be confident you know even if you are not confident act confident you know fake it till you make it but they don't understand what actually is confidence you, you cannot fake confidence because confidence is the result of something else okay so if you do not have that something else then you will naturally lack confidence okay so there are many factors that contribute to confidence but uh, one of the factors is you know staying true to your word so to, today you promise something and then you do it okay then you will automatically gain confidence if you are competent if you are skilled in something you will have confidence as a byproduct okay so and uh, at the same time if you are if you truly believe uh, in the things that you stand for which means you are well aware of the consequences of your decisions then you gain confidence so uh, if you do not have these three and you try to externally say oh i am confident you know uh, that doesn't work that happens primarily with people who have a bad son because uh, then they will uh, try to fake confidence you know so please uh, educate yourself uh, be true to your word and then uh, you will be confident automatically and then you don't have to seek validation externally okay number two it is very hard to figure out what is your life purpose there is serious uncertainty or like you ask people okay what do you think you want to do in life you know not just like uh, very 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 pinpoint very serious you know not not like that but in general a person should uh, at least by the time uh, he or she is in 30s or you know even our 30s if you say you know by late 30s mid 30s or even by mid 20s or late 20s around 20 30 at least i'm saying at the least ideally it should be before but at the least i'm saying people should at least uh, know what they want to do in life in the sense you know not just for career but how do they want to spend the rest of their life you know like do they do they want to marry do they want to have children do they want to uh, have uh, have a job or they want to be self-employed or they want to have a business you know they, what kind of job do they want to do what kind of hobbies do they want so 
if a person is uh, not able to figure out his life purpose uh, perpetually okay i'm not saying that if somebody is exploring uh, that is still better than not figuring out but what i mean to say here is uh, you try very hard but you can't find you know you are like looking here there you have gone to 10 and 10 astrologers you have gone to 100 life coaches you know you go to marriage counselor this that then this means uh, you do not have the proper understanding about your own self okay so uh, because of that uh, nobody can actually help you because every count counselor astrologer guru or guide can only help you if you if you are ready to take some risks and uh, take some bold decisions in life otherwise you know they can't help you okay so uh, people who have a bad son they always have a problem okay uh, with this now let me clarify something else like you know what do i mean by a bad son you know uh, you may say oh my son is afflicted by saturn mars rahu ketu or whatever uh, or it's in debility but the thing is uh, these are just some parameters to analyze uh, astrologically a bad son or afflicted debilitated son but there are other divisional charts you know so uh, which can also tell us what uh, how sun is placed you know so overall if you see all these symptoms in somebody and even if their sun is exalted or well placed even then you know there is some problem in some other divisional chart you know which is causing this okay so these are some shortcuts to identify actually okay Number three, it is very difficult to lead others. Leading others can be challenging for individuals with a challenging sun placement. Why? Because when you lead others, you need to tell them, okay, what they should do. Okay. Or you need to assign roles and responsibilities to others depending on their uh, talents and their skill sets. But the problem is if as, as we saw, you know, point number two, if you can't figure out what you should do yourself, then how can you figure out what other people do? Right. So in such a situation, um, your subordinates who are uh, waiting for your instructions, they may feel we are not getting the right guidance because Mm, we actually cannot um, we actually cannot understand and figure out what we should do and neither is our leader telling us what to do okay so therefore and even if you figure out because you lack assertiveness uh, so you cannot uh, communicate things properly and uh, people don't uh, people end up ignoring what you say nobody listens to you basically okay now when i say nobody listens i don't mean you know people are like out of fear of death or fear of being terminated fear of being getting fired uh, they are listening to you i'm not saying that but in general you know that you are a leader you make some policies you assign some roles you know in the in in your company and then people generally uh, follow that you know in that context i'm not saying uh, people say yes to you all the time out of fear you know that is also not very healthy but but in general if you see that you uh, make some policies and people don't uh, your subordinates don't follow you then uh, well maybe there is some problem with your son because of that this is happening okay and inflate the ego is always inflated and there are always power struggles and conflicts in relationships and this is like the other end of the ex other extreme other end so there is so much ego, there is so much assertiveness, there is so much boldness, there is so much courage, so much um, arrogance that nobody wants to stay with you. you know, and you are very bad at doing collaborations or you know teamwork because when you are doing that then you uh, actually have to uh, struggle and you have to compromise sometimes. You, know, you have to make some adjustments like for example you might have to share some responsibilities with others with some other leaders okay and then uh, you may have these conflicts because you may not want to give up control or 
uh, you may always want to um, keep things to yourself you know keep uh, keep uh, enjoying the power okay so this can lead to problems in your uh, professional life or even in your personal life okay so therefore this is both both the ways okay so then then there is dissension there is divorce there is separation uh, your job is terminated no, or um, yeah if if you are at the other end of the extreme where people fear you uh, for no reason uh, for your arrogance then maybe sun is not very well placed okay so both the traits are not healthy number three and four they are like you know opposite of each other and both are present in a bad sun okay a person whose sun is good will uh, will display extreme leadership in times of difficulty and they will be uh, they will be able to handle uh, people with different mentalities with different uh, ideologies and you know they will they will know how to manage everybody and take everybody together okay so if your son is bad either everybody leaves you or nobody listens to you one of the two will happen okay that that's like very easily you can identify number 5 so you are extremely stubborn and when there is like uh, when you have some belief or opinion and somebody comes and challenges it and provides you evidence which contradicts your belief systems you cannot change it you know, so it, it is very difficult for you to adapt to new ideas or perspectives and then uh, it is very difficult for you to change your opinion now of course everybody is entitled to their opinion but at times when there is evidence of uh, something contrary to your opinion and not just uh, some contrary evidence or opinion but when there is a <coughs> when there is a period where you actually uh, have to uh, make some changes you know some tangible uh, decisions you need to take at that time if you are stubborn and you say oh yeah you know no this is my way or the highway you know and um, i will never change my opinion you know so even if you know that you are wrong but you still can't change what is wrong in you you know you are that stubborn that is in tamoguna basically okay so then uh, you know that your sun is badly placed because a good sun is like the light sun shows light so you can see very well what is going on and if you cannot see then uh, well uh, or if you can see and you choose to ignore then that means your sun is not very well placed <coughs> all right now this is the other end of the extreme again they are a very harsh inner critic so they have uh, now this is very interesting point number 6 you know so when you are extremely harsh inner critic what happens you can also go to the other extreme it's like you know you think very high of yourself okay so this can result in like either inferiority complex or maybe even superiority complex and you have difficulty sometimes uh, accepting compliments or praise so if somebody praises you you feel like too elated you know you're like oh my god this person praised me and then we go back to point number 1 you know which was <coughs> uh, which was actually validation so you are either extremely happy and you are extremely unhappy if somebody does not praise you like we have the example of uh, daksh prajapati in shrimad bhagavatam when uh, everybody stood up uh, and lord shiva did not stand up uh, to greet him uh, because lord shiva as always he was meditating on lord shri ram as uh, the vishnu sahasra naam says you know shri ram ram rame ti rame rame manorame sahasra naam tattulyam ram naam varanane thousand names of vishnu equals one name of ram i am meditating on that ram oh rama devi lord shiva says this but daksha was very offended so you have a difficulty taking criticism or uh, accepting compliments okay so or uh, you look you look around uh, for compliments which is again point number 1 you look for validation so you develop 
a negative self image you know you you kind of lose confidence so all points are related and when you lose confidence you are less assertive nobody listens to you so it's like a part of the package you know okay this is regarding your energy levels so yeah i mean it's pretty obvious you know there's a low physical uh, mental stamina there is no patience whenever there are challenges which life throws at you you are like uh, you just surrender you say no no i can't do this you know when there is some when there is tough time there is difficulty you 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 just give in and then uh, you just run away okay so there could be vitality issues in your body uh, there could be uh, your mental stamina your mental ability to take challenges could be fluctuating and this could be the other ex- uh, on the other extreme also you know you oh wow you are like so motivated you are so uh, uh, you you are so positive sometimes and uh, suddenly you are like oh i can't do anything you know let me just give it up so it's like both the extremes could be there on one side you feel extremely positive sometimes for no reason and sometimes you know for no reason you feel extremely demotivated you constantly look for motivation because your stamina is all time low always right so this can tell you how your sun is number 8 challenging sun may signify conflicts with senior or father or elderly authority figures in their lives this is very typical you know like your father some manager or some elderly personality authority you always have problems with them okay or you may be you may have problems with subordinates so you may also be inconsiderate towards others and you may yourself be very insensitive you know or as they say you 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 are yourself like a toxic boss okay so you have problems with e- either subordinates or with uh, senior authorities or both okay and sun also shows the government if due to some reason you are always breaking the government rules government law and all this you know <coughs> so then this is very problematic because then uh, yeah you do not get support basically the sun shows you know support so if you have problems with the senior authorities you do not get any support okay you are all by yourself <coughs> so yeah and this causes lot of emotional damage you know like uh, feeling not very good about oneself you know feeling left out feeling all by yourself feeling alone feeling uh, like you don't exist or you are not important enough in the society so yeah this is also not very good number 9 you are codependent because you are seeking validation and approval you rely heavily on external affirmation affecting uh, your self sufficiency so which means you are only happy if others think you are good otherwise uh, you 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 are not happy by yourself you know for due to some reason or the other you are always very miserable and you you perpetually feel that you are not good enough so what happens when you uh, become like this then uh, actually others can exploit you because you know others especially in kali yuga there are so appreciation and all this you know and uh, if you if you are like that then they know that oh yeah this person is dependent on me you know there's co dependency so i can exploit this person you know? like for example uh, in your company if somebody knows that you know you have a big loan you know, home loan car loan whatever credit card loan debt or whatever and uh, you you have uh, taken bad financial decisions and now you uh, will be in trouble if you lose your job so <coughs> so then uh, it, it means you know your boss can exploit you uh, he or she may if they know this they will exploit you you know so it's like uh, it could be there at an external level or there could be emotional manipulation uh, also okay uh, so therefore you need to be very careful not to become codependent of course there will be codependency with everybody to some extent you know that you cannot avoid but at the end your life should be in your control and not in any other person's control okay 
number 10 the sun represents the heart so uh, there could be health issues related to the heart or you know spine or overall your vitality may be less you may feel weak and lethargic lazy you may procrastinate you know you 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 may not want to go ahead with life in general and this is bonus which we already discussed you know like either superiority or an inferiority complex or both depending on uh, circumstances you uh, feel both okay so yeah this is again uh, problematic but this is how it works okay all right ladies and gentlemen please share your experiences in the comments of a bad son what have you seen in your experience i would love to hear that okay so if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation my website is down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll surely find him